Right guys, yeah, we are. So we'll uh, just pick it up. I thought I'd take something else off instead. I was going to take the end off just to sort of see, but I think um, for now we'll just uh, see if we can take off the main and we'll look inside. I'm imagining, con looking at the condition of this, that it's all going to be very, very, very gunked up in here. Um, but we'll have a, a look. So, uh, it's all pretty monkey in here. I would say. And if it isn't, then I'll be very surprised as to why she's not running properly. Um, okay, no, not something like that. Ooh. Ooh. Don't want to lose that gasket. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is exactly the reason why it's not running properly. It is absolutely disgusting. Let's just take that little one off there. There we go, We now at least we now know that the reasoning behind it was that it was gunged up. I don't know, there's enough light there to see you can see how bad it is. It's quite hard to see, but that's, uh, yeah. That's had a lot of old fuel sitting in it for a long period of time. Let's grab my uh, oh, very short supply of uh, um, Try and just give this the outside a bit of a clean as well. Just, uh, that's all nice and clean when it goes back on again. I'm gonna have to order some more, uh, some more of my uh, carburetor cleaner. So I'm uh, running a bit, a bit low. Um, I was using a lot of it at one point over the uh, the pandemic. I was in here working. Oh, actually, no, I wasn't in here working. I was outside my house working um, during the, the, the pandemic. So uh, getting uh, stuff prepared for uh, lawn mowers and things. So that's a bit better now. You can see there looks a bit cleaner. Um, another, I'm not 100% sure what this strange flap is at the front. Can anyone tell me what that actually does? But it's pretty manky. So uh, we'll... Uh, covered in a, there's a lot of just general varnished grime in here and here we go what have I done with the uh, the thing itself oh, it's over here hmm. here we go let's have a look at that then yeah that's very gunged up in there the uh, the float wasn't doing anything; it was just sort of sitting there. So uh, I'll give that a bit of a clean. You see the float there? It's a bit better now. Don't think there's any. Anyway, that's that there. And I think what we're going to have to do is have a little little shifty through here. gasket that I know has unfortunately broken like everybody gasket already does there we go that's the gasket off it's uh, has broken but uh, I'm hoping we can uh, salvage it um, 
just use uh, my pliers, just try and take the, uh, the pin out that holds the. Uh, See, the problem with these is they're so badly made that there's no actual. The, the tolerance is atrocious. I mean, this. Here I am trying to take the little pin out here that holds the uh, the the arm for the float, and uh, you can't actually get it past the casting, which is just rubbish. So um, try a different way. That might work better. Oops, sorry, guys. I'm not showing you, am I? I'm look, you're looking at my belly all the time, which isn't working, is it? And there's the needle. As you can see there, there's the needle, all filthy dirty and the best, best condition. They're not too bad in there. It's a little dirty, but uh, I will uh, endeavour to take the thing apart further. I'm just going to take this. Um, Take this gasket off as well. Just decided to break off, didn't it? Oh no. Oh well, that's that then. So hope we can uh, I might better get a set of gaskets for her anyway online. We'll see. That's a shame. Just decided the last little bit just to stay on there. Oh well. Maybe I should have. Uh, apologies, I keep moving away, guys. It's difficult. It's uh, I've got the best light. Yeah. Anyway, we'll leave that one there, and we'll come back to that another time. Thanks, guys.